Tetsuya Nomura gets a co-director for the Final Fantasy VII Remake and what appears to be Final Fantasy XVI is in the hands of an actually competent director. Are Square finally learning? And no, this isn't an April Fool's. Changes to Square's careers and recruitment websites have revealed a minor change to the Final Fantasy VII Remake's development team. Back when development was brought in-house, Naoki Hamaguchi was named project lead and director Tetsuya Nomura later described his role as similar to that of the Kingdom Hearts co-director role. Well, it's now no longer similar and is simply official. The updated Final Fantasy VII Remake recruitment page lists Naoki Hamaguchi as co-director. A little note from Hamaguchi also says that main development is progressing smoothly, whatever that means, so I'm sure our grandchildren will all enjoy it when it releases for the PlayStation 7 in late 2031. In much, 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 much more interesting news, Naoki Yoshida, the director of the current Final Fantasy XIV and not the original failed one, has been put in charge of a new large-scale next-gen title. Yoshida's team is now known as the third development division after Square followed through with plans to scrap their old business division structure in the new fiscal year, instead focusing development staff on a project by project basis. Underneath a banner that was previously used on the fifth business division's recruitment site that looks to be concept art for a Final Fantasy going back to its roots, Yoshida writes, Based on the former fifth business division, the newly established third development division has started work on a new key project following Final Fantasy XIV, taking up a challenge for the next generation. This project has already finished early development as well as preparation of the development environment and is now moving into the full-blown large-scale development phase. Yoshida recently made comments that he would like the next Final Fantasy to return to a fantasy setting, at which point I told Square to give Yoshida as much money and as many resources as he needed and to let him make whatever the hell he wants to make for Final Fantasy XVI. It'll be an amazing game and it will actually be delivered in a reasonable development cycle. There is only speculation at this point about what the project is, it may not be Final Fantasy at all, but it's certainly up there in terms of probability. Hopefully we'll hear more about the project when the time is right, and maybe, just maybe, we could get some Final Fantasy VII Remake news this year? But I'm not holding out hope that Episode 1 is anything other than a PlayStation 5 title at this point. Thanks for the liking, subscribing, and the sharing! And I'll see you all soon.